Well then, during the winter, we met up with the Bait Zone guys to check out their new range. Now it's warmed up a bit, we thought we'd come and see it out in action. Just turned up and off one screams. Can't take long, did it? Yeah. <laughs> it must be the Bait Zone. <laughs> the way plug. to do it, mate. <laughs> well, I heard, uh, I've heard good things so far. I've seen little things on Facebook and that, pe people you know, doing well on the product. Yeah, we're getting a good response and at least it's... Like on the Facebook, you get the truth, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, you get the truth. And so, which has been really good for us because we've had a good response and we've also been pointed, a few things have been pointed out, which we take on board and uh, everybody seems to be happy. We rolled up some bloodworm dumbbells and glugged them in the blood dip with uh, the pellets and we've been trying it without putting the, the bloodworm pellets on. There's a lot less fish coming out unless you're using the pellet. Right. So it's, the combination's working right, because this is about testing the baits. So Dean's using different baits to me, uh, just to try and see if we can see there's a difference. And we've proven it by this one keeps screaming off, where the right hand rod's got no pellets on it at all, and it's just sat there. It's funny, isn't it? You yeah. Know, people say about different colours on different days, but I think the same can be said for bait as well. Yeah, you know? definitely. Different baits on different days. Definitely. Hey. Hey. Good work. Okay, he looks pretty angry, doesn't he? <laughs> he's nice calming up. down there, yeah. You know. Little starburst scales at the back yeah. there. Superb, mate. Right, you pop him back and we'll have a look at those tricks you were talking about. No problem. So these are them little budworm dumbbells you were talking about. Yeah. They look good, don't they? Yeah, we've, we've poured a bit of the bloodworm juice over them as well. Um, and that sucks up inside it as well, just to give it that little bit of extra, uh, which seems to be working. There's a lot been sort of written in the past, isn't there, about dumbbell hook baits, the fact they act differently in the water for yeah. the fish, and yeah. which can only be an edge, really, can't it? Yeah, I think as well, we've got because there's a shelf, quite a steep shelf in this lake, the shape of them, they're not just going to roll all the way down until the end of the hook length. They're, they're, I'm, actually, I'm hoping that they'll actually sort of sit or rest on the little umps and bumps that are on there, so the rig's not always hanging downwards. It's just something that I think might be the difference. Well, they look nice, mate. So this is the, the actual glug, is it? That's the, that's the kitty. So what exactly is it? There's bloodworm in there, um, and it's a bloodworm extract as well. So it's all bloodworm. And when you when you're dripping it in the water, you can see it just sink into the bottom as well. So it just lays like a bed of blood at the bottom. We're working on the pretense that because of the bloodworm that's in it, they might see it as a bloodworm bed. Hence, they might go over it. Well, it certainly works, mate. Yeah, it, it does work. Right, and you've got the pellets here. I've heard a lot of good things about these pellets since we uh, yeah. had a look at them in the winter. Yeah. All the same as that, um, but what you can do as well is you can get some of that and pour it over the top of the pellets if you want that little bit more in the summer, obviously for uh, Just more attraction. giving them that extra boost. But yeah. what I do is I do a small bag like that, which is a lot bigger than most. It's not a long chuck water, so you're not gonna be worried about it being too tight. I, what I do is I dip it straight in there. Well, you've got this rig here waiting to go, so you might as well okay. uh, get that one going. Yeah. You can't be too squeamish with this because it, it does look like a mess sometimes. If, you, if you're not careful, it goes everywhere. But I think that's what obviously catches the fish. And that's it. It's thing, I mean, they come across bloodworm every day, don't they? Yeah. In the lake, so. Yeah, it's just a simple rig. And then what I do there is I open up this. You can obviously hook it and then dip it all in, but I like to get it in there and give it a spin. So I'm only covering the bottom half. Cool, look at that. <laughs> Loads of liquid in there, isn't there? <laughs> so you just pour it back over there. Just nip it through the top. Irresistible, isn't it? It does look awesome, mate, doesn't it? <laughs> that looks like it's got carp written all over it, it does, mate. does, not it? Do you want to weigh it back out there and see if we can catch another one? I'm sure we will. <laughs> There's another nice scaly one on the pellets there, Gal. Didn't take long, did it? No. <laughs> that, it's coming at that time of year now, isn't it, where pellets just coming into their own. Yeah. So uh, before I leave, I'll be nicking a couple of buckets of them off you. Yeah? Certainly, mate. You're <laughs> welcome to them. Cool. All right, we'll pop that back, and I'm going to go and see your mate Dean, because I hear he's got a couple of tricks up his oh, sleeve. Oh, yes, he's got some good tips up his sleeve, and uh, you'll enjoy those. <laughs> 